Hi, it's me, Oscar, the Simple Surgeon. I am here today to show you what to do to get rid of an ingrown toenail, if possible at home, without even getting medical advice. You may remember this picture. So people who cut fancy curves in their nails and that I told you that the disease or the condition finishes once the nail reaches or grows over the nail bed. Now it is not so simple if you have all the inflammation going on. Sometimes you have had granulation tissue, meaty bleeding tissue covering all that and the swollen nail bed and it is painful it hurts people and it's very difficult to do anything about it so my advice is most of the day because moisture is part of the vicious circle that speeds the process to develop dry your feet so most of the day let them out to the air wear sandals and walk barefoot but once a day once a day soak your feet in soapy water for 10 15 minutes so the skin here actually gets so wet that it wrinkles just like when you spend too much time in a bath and after that only after that it will be comfortable enough won't be completely comfortable to try to move away the nail bed slightly to allow the nail to grow further and all you need is one quarter of a millimeter per day because the nail especially the great toe grows very slowly if you take it off it takes six months to grow back therefore all you need is give it space one fourth of a millimeter every day and how to do it in practice i'm actually going to use a volunteer to show you what to do with your nail bed so here is my volunteer's toe and after you have moisture or soaked your feet for 10 to 15 minutes you need to apply some mechanical force. Ingrown toenail is a mechanical disease, so you need to apply mechanical force to make some room for the nail to grow. You can do it either with a cotton bud, like this, by putting it over here and pressing to the side and down to the side and down, try to push the nail bed, push the skin under the nail. Or if you prefer, you can do it with your thumb, with a massage going that way and creating one fourth or a of a millimeter. It doesn't have to be more, one fourth of a millimeter per day. And that's how I see it, but I am just a simple surgeon. Bye.